Hello everyone, today we will speak about Gerard or Jerry Butler. Please welcome Jerry Butler! Our friend Gerard Butler, everybody! I have to say, I just told everyone how excited I was to meet you! Gerard Butler, ladies and gentlemen! Jerry Butler, everybody! I am with Hollywood's new leading man, actor Gerard Butler. While he was a student, he was working an affair with one attraction. You have to take a loop, a metal loop, and, and take it round that loop without touching the wire. And if you touch it, it's over. First day was not the easiest one for young Butler. In the beginning, he was not ready to take money from kids for this entertainment. First person that came on was a, that came up to play was a little kid, and he just walked up and he gave me two dollars. Oh no! And then he took, and I'm like, I can't do this. I just can't take people's money. This is awful. But a couple of days later, everything changed. Like, hey, kiddo, give me that money. Here you go. Come, on. Come on, give me your money. Biggest teddy bear in the fair. What? Do you know that Jared Butler may became lawyer, not an actor? He was so close to graduate from two-year law school. I went through law school. I got an honors law degree. I got a diploma in legal practice. I did my two years training to become a lawyer. And? Minus a week. But he knows that he do not want to be a lawyer. Well, I hated what I was doing. I want to be an actor. One week before graduating, they speak to Jared Butler. They understand that no matter he was doing good, Everybody knows that he didn't want to be a lawyer. So they told him that he didn't need it. And he quit just one week before graduating. And I became the first trainee lawyer in the history of the Scottish legal system to be fired. So I'm kind of proud of that. What? Joel Schumacher called his agent and asked, can Gerard Butler sing the Phantom of the Opera? And his agent answered to Mr. Schumacher. And my agent said, I can sing, but I don't know if he can sing that. After his first lesson, Gerard Butler asked his teacher, is he just wasting time with the vocal lessons, or he really can sing? His teacher was the professor of music of the Royal Academy in London. And we finished and she said, you can absolutely do this. You need to put in a lot of work, you need to learn the rules, but you can do this. What? I love the opportunity to try different things and, and hopefully surprise people and maybe prove them wrong. 300 Spartans, Gerard Butler, wanted to get the role of Tsar Leonidas very badly. Producers of that movie also wanted to see him at this role, but they scared if president of Warner Brothers would not agree with it and it would hurt movie. So they did a smart thing. They asked Gerard to call Alan Horn, the president of Warner Brothers, and offer himself to the role of Leonidas. And Gerard called. And I said, Alan, hey, it's Jerry Butler. He said, how are you, Jerry? I know why you're calling. And let me tell you, there's a process and you have to be nominated by them. And I wanted to say, I have been. They're the ones that told me to call you. The result of this call was invitation for a cup of coffee with Alan Horn. Gerard Butler prepared a big speech for president of Warner Brothers. How this chance is important for him and he will do his best. And he got this role. As for me, it's kind of strange movie. But Gerard Butler is amazing there. As he said, he felt that King Leonidas came to him from times. Sounds weird, but I would literally channel Leonidas. I would almost do these meditations where I would feel him coming through some kind of weird portal, like just coming into my body. Maybe magic took place. And that is why Leonidas played by Jared Butler is so real. But that's an easy choice for us, Arcadian. Spartans never retreat. Spartans never surrender. This was not an easy movie. There was a lot of trainings. Leonidas and his army had to be in a perfect physical shape. I started training probably four months before the movie even started. Gerard had his own trainer and also he had a trainer from the film crew who was mountain climber and it was hard trainings. Also Gerard had trainings with a stunt guy. One of the iconic lines in the movie is This is Sparta. I guess you remember this moment. This is Sparta! But first couple of takes was completely different. It sounds like that. This is Sparta. But when it already was shot, suddenly Jared wanted to change it a little bit and to try something new. This is Sparta! And get the guy. I turn around and all my army are literally like this. All the Leonidas army shocked in a good way. Of course, nobody at all didn't expect such kind of take from Butler. When he saw the reaction of the film crew, he came to director Zack Snyder and said that he understood it was way too much of reactions. 
But Zack answered like that. Yeah, but it was awesome! This is Sparta! What? Another great movie with Jared Butler. It is Law Beating Citizen. I can say that for me, this is the best Jared Butler movie. And I will put this movie to the same level of Shawshank Redemption. Law Beating Citizen is the first movie that Jared Butler produced. Also, in the beginning he had the role of the counselor, because he used to play good guys. But when he asked Jamie Foxx to play the bad guy, he got an answer. Nope, don't want to play Clyde Sharon, but I'll play his role. I said, okay, let's do it. So basically we swapped roles, and I'm so glad, I, can, I now can't imagine that movie any other way. Movie was great. It's tense, it's keeping your attention till the end. If you don't saw it, watch it now. You might want to cancel your 12.30 lunch with Judge Roberts. Excuse me? In fact, you might want to cancel the rest of the week because you're going to be busy. Sit down. It was amazing how far my character could go and people still want him to win and want him to get away with... What? Okay, maybe you watched movie The Plane. As Jerry Butler said, this movie is kind of old style one. Actually, I agree with him. This movie is like a classical movie of the 90s. I miss those movies where you, you have the John McClane, you know, the Bruce Willis, the Harrison Ford. While they were shooting the final part of the movie, Jared Butler pretended that he was repairing plane brakes. It's something in, in the wheel, so it's a brake. Now I'm sticking my hand between these two wheels, kind of pretending that I know what I'm doing. In, in <laughs> I don't really understand how it happened, but there was really dangerous fluid. How it came to the set, but it happened. It's in my throat, it's in my mouth, it's up my nose, it's in my eyes, it's burning my face. And I mean burning. And it turns out this is essentially phosphoric acid. <laughs> now he's talking with a smile, but I believe that time on set was the tough time for him. And I don't think he was very happy to have acid in the scene. It was intense and it actually it burned for hours, but it was great for the... I... It was great for the secrets. <laughs> what? Do you know that Jared Butler is not only an actor or singer, he is also a rescue ranger or lifesaver. Once he saved a kid's life. I've actually I've saved a couple of human beings. It was in the beginning of his actor's career, in beautiful place near a river in Scotland. Suddenly Jared heard scream, but nobody noticed it. I, I go over this hill and sure enough there's this boy in the middle of the river and he disappears underwater and then he comes back up and then he does it and, and he looks dead to me. Of course he went into the river to rescue this kid, but it was not in a movie. So... Yeah. I did probably the worst rescue attempt, so I swim out and then I grab him, but I didn't go back, so my, I was kind of like, you know... Yeah. Um, when Jared Butler took this poor kid from the water, he didn't know what to do. Now I'm just holding him, he's lying there, and I think if we'd been left to die, he would have died, because I didn't yeah. know what to do. But there were people nearby who knows what to do, so kid was rescued and Jared Butler even got an award. Actually, I got an award for bravery from the British Humane Society for that. There you go. Um, what? Mr. Butler loves to travel. Once he and his friends travel around Iceland. They had very interesting trip in very beautiful country. Sometimes their trip was quite dangerous. We were going up a glacier at 2 in the morning and sliding backwards down this glacier mm -hmm. thinking, I think we're going to die, I didn't know if we were going to fall off the back. And but the goal was to see the beauty of Northern Lights. If you saw it once, you know that it's very beautiful. We set up ten at 2.30 in the morning on top of a glacier and with the northern lights going off above us. And it was moments when you go, I will never forget this. Yeah. But here is an interesting question to Jared Butler about this trip. Any girls go with you? <laughs> we probably met a couple where we were there though, but... Yeah. Um, no, we were actually in the middle of nowhere. We mm -hmm. didn't see another soul for, right. for six days. And now, let's watch one more interview about a very interesting topic. I've had sex in some crazy places. <laughs> First answer was really interesting. Who of you can beat it? I had sex on the side of a volcano once. Okay. That was pretty cool. That's good. Actually, it was pretty hot. <laughs> but we interested in second answer. I know, on a glacier. On a glacier? Yeah. If you're somewhere interesting, you kind of think it would be yes, nice to... absolutely. ...to make this a more interesting story. i got to be honest, it was not fun. My ass stuck to the ice. Uh, interesting. Hmm. Let's get back to the question. We were going up a glacier at 2 in the morning. Any girls go with you? I've had sex in some crazy places. I know, on a glacier. On a glacier? Yeah. What? Dear girls, here is the main question 
that you can ask Jared or Jerry Butler. Are you single? <laughs> yes. And one more. Always, it is good to know about social media of celebrities. Just to understand if they see your likes or comments or not. Do I have an Instagram? No. I don't have an Instagram. I think somebody has an Instagram that they say is me, but it's not really me, but they seem to do a pretty good job, so I'm not complaining. This is all for today. Thank you very much and wish you all the best. Bye. What? Well, that's an easy choice for us, Arcadian. Spartans never retreat. Spartans never surrender. This is Sparta!